All right, so now that I've got this in there, what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to, I've got this as an instance. So um, previously I was talking about the naming convention. So let's let's actually go in and name this. We'll name this one chest unders uh, underscore top. And I always use underscores um, for the simple fact that um, I'm going to call this lock. Um, WIP. I always name underscores um, because of the simple fact that um, if you're ever doing any programming, um, like you can do Max Script or you can put this in a game engine, you never really want to use spaces because spaces are kind of wonky when it comes to uh, coding. So that's why you really want to pay attention to um, use underscores instead of spaces. Okay, so we've I've, I've created this box. Now I'm going to show you guys this. There's this um, isolation mode, and if you go to Alt Q, isolation mode um, basically pops everything in this one box object. So what I'm going to do is actually let's. Uh, this is one of the times I'm going to show you guys edit poly. So I'm going to put edit poly in there, and um, the first thing that we're going to do is. Uh, we are going to, um, I'm going to put in two quick slices. The first one going horizontal, like so, and the second one vertical, like so. All right, now it doesn't have to be perfect because what we're going to do is we are going to go into half of this, and oops, there we go, half of this, and I'm going to delete it. Um, Grab this, half of it, I'm going to hit the delete key. All right, and that will delete the exact half of that. Then from there, I'm going to go in and I'm going to rotate this around a little bit. And then we're going to rotate this um, down a little bit. And I'm going to do another quick slice real quick. And I generally do quick slices in the beginning, but not in the end. So we're going to just move this quick slice over here, like so. And, and something like that. And then let's um, actually let's move the bottom out a little bit more. And then um, let's add two more quick slices in there. Just kind of one, two. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this one down a little bit. And then this one, like that. And then I'm going to go over to this one here, grab this polygon, and we are just going to extrude not that much. Not that much. So sometimes when you extrude and we're working such small things, you just want to manually get in there. And then we're going to go into, now again, I'm using my one, two, threes to to go back and forth. So that looks like a decent decent lock. So I'm going to hit that and then the next thing I'm going to add in there is the symmetry modifier. The nice thing about a symmetry modifier is it welds it welds it along the seam. Okay. And um, so that gives me what I was going for there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Add in. Uh, let's add add in a. Edit poly. Yeah, let's add an edit poly in there. All right, and then I'm going to just I think I'm going to do quick slice one more time. And this is kind of, you know, just using modifiers and such. Oops. Always always right click to get rid of the quick slice. So let's go here, grab this. And actually, if you're working with symmetry, sometimes it's easier to scale an object outward in one direction and create like so. And then we can always scale it inward. So there's our, there's our skull point. 
Now, um, now that that's done, I'm going to um, pretty much hit Alt Q, and that should pop everything back. So as you can see, I've got I've got that like so, and we can kind of move that. Now, what I can do is once I've got that done, you know, and that's this is nice because say I wanted to uh, rotate this, so let's go over here. Um, let's kind of angle this up a little bit, and uh, I'm just going to zoom extends all there, and uh, let's see here. How can I fix like this? Maybe put it like this, something like that. I don't know. Um, it doesn't have to be, you know, super perfect, but it's harder to model at an angle like so, it's harder to model like that than it is to model, um, I'll just, oops, not that one. So it's harder to model at this because now if you look up here, I've got all this stuff going on and it's going to be a pain in the butt. But if I want to make changes on it, this one here is straight up and down and I can model it all I want. Um, one more thing I'm going to do real quick. And uh, this is basically to, uh, I'm going to separate the two. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these and uh, make sure everything is selected you want. And I'm going to go scroll down and I am going to hit the detach button. Okay. All right. Now what that does is basically turns, um, that and as you as you can see you want to detach this stuff beforehand so let's undo that um, so we're just going to uh, basically like that I'm gonna make this unique so we don't have to deal with it anymore I in fact I can actually delete it because um, I'm done with that I'm gonna go to this one and I'm gonna go to this and notice it's selected from the last one so I'm gonna just hit detach and I'm going to hit detach and then uh, let's go to I'm going to hit alt Q again and I'm going to scroll down now notice there's a hole in there um, and we can actually just go and take this and go into bridge and bridge is simple click one edge click the other edge it creates a platform alt Q to go back and then I'm going to go off my edge. I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to go to Alt Q again. And we're going to go up here. And let's go with Edge. And let's go Bridge again. And there we go. So that's Bridge now. And then we're done. Um, so I mean, you can you can chamfer um, if you want. You can you can do a number of different things. Um, but for now, I think after Alt Q, I think we're done here. Um, one more thing before I end this video. Um, so we've got this in here, um, and I think that makes a, a good lock. I think that's that's a, a pretty decent idea. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to click on. And I'm going to right click and go to unfreeze all. So now I've got all pieces here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this. Oops. I'm going to. Uh, sometimes if you can't grab stuff, you have to make sure that your added poly is off. So I'm going to grab this and I'm going to go to attach. Now I'm going to attach this piece and this piece and I'm going to undo this so you can see and then I'm going to attach this piece down here. All right. I'm going to take off the attach button. I'm going to go to the top button and attach this piece. So now I'm going to go off. Now the uh, fact that I can rotate my lid ta -da, looks awesomeness, right? So there's there's my 
there's my treasure chest. Um, I got a few minutes yet, so let's do a couple things. So we have we now can have we can clone this and we can make an open treasure chest or a closed treasure chest. So if we do an open treasure chest, all right, like so, what we can do is we can actually put something in there. Um, so we're gonna just go in here and add a plane. I'm gonna go into the top side here, and I'm just gonna do a rough plane. Like so, and then I'm going to go up, and I think that's pretty close. Let's. Uh, sometimes you just need to get a little bit bigger. I'm going to move this over just a hair. All right. So now that I've got this plane in there, let's add an edit poly modifier on there, and let's just kind of grab some vertices and kind of pull. Now, you know what? To be honest with you, let's not do that right now. Let's instead, you've got that edit poly on there. Um, in fact, um, if you want to dump this modifier, you can hit the garbage can here. It removes that modifier in stock. Let's go to, um, let's show you a different modifier here. Um, let's add in a noise modifier. Now, what noise modifying does is basically you've got your scale. Um, and without understanding the scale, we need to basically create um, strengths. So we're going to do this in a z-axis. And the nice thing is you can see the z-axis by going up. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to move this up in z-axis. And I'm going to move this scale. Let's do a little fractal noise. Let's add some roughness. And uh, let's check our iterations here. Um, there we go. Now, our scale is down to zero. And as we go higher, we can lower, and you just need to play with it a little bit. So let's kind of. Kind of play with this, and you just kind of play with it until you find something you like. Yeah, I think that looks good. And let me just move this down a little bit. And as long as it doesn't go, I think that's okay. Uh, yeah, that looks good. So the noise basically moves everything around for you. If you want, you can add a edit poly on top of that. And um, yeah, it's, that's pretty much all we need. Now the so we've got that in there, and that'll be our gold base. And then um, so let's let's call this gold. All right, and then um, I'm gonna hide that for a second. And uh, let's go into the plane, and we're just gonna make one over here real quick. And I'm going to pretty much move all the width and height segments down. And I'm going to turn this into a editable poly. And let's turn on some snaps. Okay, snaps are basically three-dimensional. Um, so I can click on snaps. And I'm going to do grid points. I'm going to snap to edges, edges and faces. All right, and then say there, and then the angle snaps. Uh, I think that looks good. So let's do let's do uh, this one here. So what we're going to do is you notice you can start moving stuff all over a place here. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to clone this. I'm not going to do a instance. I'm going to just do a copy. And I'm going to do edit poly, and I'm going to grab this here. And I can move this up and down on this plane. I'm going to grab this one here. And, um, yeah, something like this. And then I'm going to actually let's grab that like so. 
And let's move that one down to here. And um, yeah, something like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, but I'm going to just turn that into kind of a spider web um, there. And then let's do, oops, and then I'll show you something. Uh, remind me to do something after that. So let's go to this one, and I'm going to go to Edit Poly. And I'm going to do Vertex. I'm going to just go up here, something like that. And I'm going to go, yeah, something like that. And move that one over there. And now, notice I tried to snap that, that. And if I don't have the, there we go. So let's grab this point here and just kind of, all right. And yeah, that looks good. All right, so I've got these points in here now. Now when I click off of it, notice my move point is over here. And same thing with this one. Whereas these move points, I'm going to turn off my angle snap. Uh, whereas these move points over here are over here. And then, so the, the move points have changed. If you ever need to reset a move point, you go back to the hierarchy tab. And you basically just go affect, um, affect it and center to object. And that will actually move it back. So center to object. So like so. All right. So those are in there now. And then I'm going to call this one web1, one, and this one is web2. All right, and then this is the, call this is, we'll call this the chest, and then this one is the lid. Now, um, something I'm going to show you guys real quick, and this is more for ease of use than anything else. Um, I'm not going to have this one in here. This is a, a, going to be a separate piece, and I'll, I'll explain this down the road when it comes to unwrapping. But um, when I move, the, if I close the box now, this piece stays right there. However, if I take this and link it, now this is just a little trick. Once you've got it in the right spot, you want to link it. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say select and link. So I'm going to do always child to parent. Parent is if the parent moves, the child follows. So child to parent. Child to parent. Let's unhide all. And let's grab this one. And child to parent. Now, you can always look at this, this uh, child-parent relationship here in the schematic view. Um, and if you notice, chest, lid, gold, all right? Um, and normally, I probably wouldn't have shown this to you, but since the nature of the beast. All right, so now, if I rotate, those stay, all right? If, and then the next thing I can do, here's a, um, another thing you can do. So I've got the lid there. And if I move the lid, let's uh, let's link. You can link in here too. So if I connect the lid to the chest, all right. Now, if I check check the chest and move everything, everything moves. I can close the lid like so, and so on. So there, just basically, essentially, all that you guys need. Um, for our modeling um, for the basics of this chest. I think we're going to call this the chest officially done here. And uh, the next stage is we're going to unwrap. So um, I think we're good to go for this. Um, and we'll unwrap in the next ones.